ladies and gentlemen, we are here. This is the Marriott Bonvoy Conference Center, Marriott World, World Conference Center. I don't know the name of the hotel, um, but we're here. This is Chosen Con, baby. Chosen Con day one. This is absolutely insane. Uh, it's about lunch time right now. I've been running around all morning. I don't know, even know what to do or where to start or what, <laughs> what I see even going on. But so many people, so many great, amazing people. And it's another family reunion. These are always the best times. Possibly the best weekend, like, like ever. It is. It's Orlando. It's Orlando, Florida, everybody. Absolutely incredible. I'm so excited. I mean, this is just the greatest, you know, ever. Got some big announcements tonight. Uh, we're going to go around. I'm about to go to the gift shop, maybe, with my dad. Uh, check that out. Maybe get some stuff. Uh, see some, some cool people and just check out what's going on. This morning I saw an interview with Ruslan. I love his channel. And uh, Dallas and Amanda and the co-writer of the devotionals, which was really awesome. Uh, but yeah, Chosen Con is amazing. I, I thought last year was just the best thing ever, and this year is even better somehow. So, let's check it out. Chosen Con right now. Uh, we're about to go in and talk to some people about uh, in seven hours, less than seven hours, Dallas is going to announce the future of the Chosen and a lot of brand new projects. So we're going to go and try to ask some people what they think is going to happen. Because I'm, I'm obsessed. I need to figure it out before Dallas announces it tonight at Chosen Con. So we're going to go talk to some people. Uh, so what are, you, what are your thoughts of what Dallas is going to announce tonight? Okay, so here's my theories. So I just spoke to Sam Jenkins. Oh. And I, I read his face a little bit. Okay which unfortunately did not give me the answer that I wanted. <laughs> but So here's what I think right now. I think they're going to announce a new studio, would be my guess. Uh, so an entirely new studio. They're not with Angel anymore. They need their own distribution arm, and they want to do more shows. So it makes a lot of sense to me that they would make an entire studio. On top of that, I think the show that they're doing, unfortunately, I think is going to be a kid's show, which I'm not super hyped about. But if it's not, and I'm wrong about that, that would be great. Because I, I, I just probably wouldn't cover a kid's show as much for me. So. What do you think? What, what do you? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking more Bible shows. Definitely, okay. that's what I'm thinking. Like yeah, the, yeah. the chosen cinematic universe, what we kind of talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. We've all been expecting for like since the show began. Yeah. I think that's what we're more, more, more Bible stories. Or, that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, yeah. I think that'd be the best case scenario. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe not. But um, I think, I think they will definitely do that at some point. I just think the show that they're going to announce tonight. I'm, I'm getting ready to be disappointed, unfortunately. Okay. okay. But I think it's going to be great regardless. I think usually when the chosen like says it's an announcement announcement this big, yeah. it's like going to be pretty, pretty, yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah. yeah. We'll see, yeah, we'll no. see, we'll yeah, see. I'll, a few hours. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but yeah, thanks man. Awesome, yeah, no worries. Yes, stay around. Tonight, less than seven hours, Dallas is going to announce a bunch of new projects for the future of The Chosen. It's going to be huge. So, what do you guys think the projects could be? Do you have any ideas or any thoughts? I'm hoping he's going to do X. That's what I'm yeah. aiming for. We talked about that. That would be Whatever phenomenal. Whatever he does, it will be wonderful because yeah. we know he's that. remarkable yeah. creator of things. Yeah, and hopefully some of the uh, cast that are in it now will come with him. Tonight, in less than seven hours, Dallas is going to announce a bunch of new projects for the future of The Chosen. What I'm trying to figure out is what they are or get people's guesses of what they are before they, they announce them. So what do you think? What do you think is going to be now? Okay, so I'm hoping, because I don't want The Chosen to end, so I'm hoping that we see, number one, the acts. I hope yeah. we see the acts play out, get to meet Paul, get to meet uh, Matthias, and the, all, all the others that, that come along in the book of Acts. Um, secondly, I think a story about David would be awesome. A show about David. Uh, we've seen him a little bit already on The Chosen, just a little bit, and seeing a show about him would be amazing. And lastly, I think, honestly, I think a show about Moses would be amazing. Oh, yeah. I think just seeing, you know, I don't know, if, I think Dallas can pull it off, but just seeing maybe Moses just putting his staff into the water, 
it turning red or the staff into the water, the, the red seeds just splitting. I think it would be amazing. But first, the act. Secondly, a show about David. And third, a show about Moses. I love your channel. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you. You're doing an amazing job. So tonight, in less than seven hours, Dallas is going to announce a bunch of new projects for the future of The Chosen, which means new shows or movies or that kind of thing. What do you guys think would happen? Would he announce, or what do you guys what would you want to see? That he I'm hoping it's the Book of Acts and we get to meet Paul. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. But anything's going to be exciting. Anything they do. I think everything's so well written and well done, doesn't matter. So tonight, in less than seven hours, Dallas is going to announce a bunch of projects for the future of The Chosen. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what they are before yeah. they're announced. So what do you I have think? some theories. You have some theories? But yes, I do. So he's alluded in the past to possibly continuing and doing Acts of the Apostles. So that would be absolutely amazing. I would love to see that. I also think it might be, uh, he did say shows, by the way. He had two, at least two, right? S, plural. And so I think the second one might be David in the Old Testament. That's my theory. Because I did hear the actor who plays David make some kind of hint about that, that he'll be you know, sticking around, something like that. So those are my, my two theories. I would love to see both of those. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Any Bible stories you want to see? What do you guys think would be announced? I want them to go ahead and, and move on to like Acts or maybe Luke and, and, and go forward. But also they, they've mentioned maybe going back to like like David and all, and all, you know, going back. But I really would like to see the Acts and then go yeah. forward. You got any, anything you want to say? Same, <laughs> same? Okay, cool, cool. I agree you? with her. You agree with her? Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I totally think that's possible. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. the gift shop right now here at the Chosen Gift. Uh, what did you get, Beth? Well, I'm glad you asked, son. I got the uh, loaves and fish shirt. It's Hebrew, but trust me, it says loaves and fish. Probably says five and two, but what do I get? And a nice polo. Look at that. The swoosh. Huh? There you go. Yeah, so that's what we got. We got $100 from the Chosen to use for free, so. Um, we're using that here. I'm about to hear the big announcement for season five. Let's see if uh, everybody's right about it. I don't care about the fame. I don't care about the expansion of the company. I don't care about the growth of our operation here. I don't care how many people show up or not. It's wonderful. But if we're not remembering this, if this isn't our primary focus, is getting this show free to everyone without, without any uh, restrictions or reservations, that's what the gospel is about, and that's what our show is about. The creative control, the control of all of the content is 100% ours, ultimately mine, and until every new project that we do, whether I'm the one directing it or not, everything must pass that test of being faithful to God, faithful to the scriptures, honoring the character and intentions of the gospel, and of the entire Bible. That will never change, and she will make sure it never changes, I promise. <laughs> and so remember this, because we're going to remember it, and we're going to see it all the time in the name of our company. It's not your job to feed the 5,000. It is only to provide the loaves and fish. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Each is a very special night for me, and I hope that it is for you as well. Whew. That was a lot, man. Chosen Con Day 1 for 2024 in the books. It was amazing. It was absolutely incredible. It's always absolutely amazing and incredible because The Chosen is absolutely amazing and incredible. We got a ton of new announcements. We got some new projects. Feels like Comic Con, but like, like, like better because it's The Chosen and it's, and it's Jesus and it's the stories of the Gospels. And it's, it's just great. The whole team is amazing. You know, it's just it's such a great community and a family. It's a it's a family reunion. I love seeing all of these great, amazing people, meeting so many people who I know, meeting people I don't know. It's great uh, just connecting with all of these wonderful, wonderful people. 
it's all just the best type ever. Still, if you haven't been to ChosenCon, I highly recommend it. Um, what did I do? I did so much. Went to the main session. I did uh, skits and bits with Chris and Jelaine and some of the cast. That was great. Uh, there was a dinner. And just saw the best Christmas pageant ever, which was phenomenal. A great, great movie. Comes out November 8th. You know what we're going to be talking about on the channel, I hope. Uh, but we just got a ton of new announcements. There's so much to process. Uh, it's currently like 1 in the morning. I got to get up tomorrow uh, and be at a uh, little press junket at like 8. So I'm probably going to get up at like 7, 7.30. So, I'm not going to get much sleep, but that's how we roll, baby. It was great. Chosen Con, you know. Such a hectic day, but can't wait till tomorrow. We'll see you guys then. <sighs> see? Oh, oh no, I, I fogged up the thing. Um, look at that transition, baby. We're going to go down. There's a press jacket at 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, it's currently about 8 o'clock. I'm going to go down to the press room and get ready. This is very exciting. Day 2 of Chosen Con. Here we go. store. I like the new yellow design that they have. It's like really, really cool. I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, just visited the gift store. Saw Brandon Robbins in there. I've been hanging out with him a lot. That's very cool. I love Brandon Robbins. So now I'm going to a session. This morning, um, so many people do. I hate like recording in front of people. What's up, dude? What's up, baby? Hey, good to see you. Um, I feel like such a narcissist. Like, I like it, but um, we'll do a session this morning. I saw a panel with some of the disciples and uh, another one. Very, very cool. We've got some big announcements tonight for season five. Can't wait. Hoping for a trailer or a release date or something. And uh, like a clip. It's gonna be very cool. Day two is going great. It's Ruslan. It's a Ruslan panel. I love Ruslan. Very sick. Uh, with Ryan Dyler. Ryan uh, Dyler Dallas. And great. so, Dallas, me and you were, were, were talking a little bit about uh, Rema's death and how you guys were, were torn about the way she died and, and how hard that was. Are there any alternate endings <laughs> that were considered about how that played out? Wait, now he's talking about the alternate Rayma endings. You guys, <laughs> the book is uh, is finished. Uh, it's <laughs> it has its ending. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to my room right now. I just watched a very cool panel with the women of The Chosen. Uh, Phil Wilkin performance, which was great. Um, but I'm going to go back to my room because I might literally fall out of sleep. Nine four. I'm going to try to get some sleep before the big announcements for season five tonight. Very exciting. Uh, but yeah, I really uh, did not get enough sleep. <laughs> I might try to get, uh, I don't know, like one of those 20-minute naps, you know, that really energize you. Uh, snore de vore, as they're called, on Urban Dictionary. Uh, but yeah, so, very exciting. Super fun stuff tonight. We'll be making tons of videos about it. So, see you then. Can I get a drink too? You can have a drink too. Chosen Con 2024 in the books, baby. I can't believe it, man. This is, I can't believe this is real life. You know, I just, it's amazing. It's so incredible. Could not be more thankful to the Chosen team. This is the best weekend, like, ever. So many cool announcements, so many great things on the way. It's more than I could ever imagine. You know, it's just absolutely incredible. So much to talk about, so many videos coming your way. Everyone involved with this show, this project, is just 
you know, I don't know how they found it, but they found all the best human beings on the planet, and it's just absolutely incredible. Everyone is just, this is just a big family. It's a family reunion. Every year it's phenomenal. I love meeting every single one of you. I'm so thankful to the chosen team, to everyone who stopped me and said, you know, I love your show, love your podcast. All of you guys are amazing. I love all of these people so much. I love you guys. But I'm exhausted. So, super happy, but I'll see you guys in my coming videos. I'm making tons of videos, so stay tuned.